Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video for June 20th, 2012. Well, the demarcation line between truth and justice is coming to a head in the Injustice Department of Eric Holder. The Congress, led by Daryl Issa, is demanding that the subpoenaed documents they've requested from Eric Holder in connection with the Fast and Furious scandal, you may remember that's where the Attorney General put guns into the hands of Mexican drug cartel leaders. Not surprisingly, the violent Mexican drug cartel leaders use those guns to kill people, including one U.S. border agent and hundreds of Mexicans. The Congress, led by Daryl Issa, have been trying to get to the bottom of who ordered it, who knew, and when they knew this program had gone awry. Now, the Attorney General has testified under oath before Congress that he didn't know anything about it. Then he testified that he learned about it a few weeks before his testimony. Then he backed it up to a few months when documents revealed that. And now they're literally hiding thousands of pages of documents from Congress that might reveal when Eric Holder knew about this scheme and whether or not he has committed perjury in his testimony before Congress. Now the Congress is demanding documents. They have threatened to subpoena even more documents and hold the Attorney General in contempt if he doesn't provide the documents as part of the oversight responsibility of the Congress. Well, now the President of the United States has weighed in and exerted executive privilege, claiming that the documents can't be provided because they're part of the executive branch of the government and due to a privilege that is normally afforded to Secretary of uh, Defense type documents, to security, international security, military documents, not covering up for a perjurous, lying Attorney General. This thing's going to come to a head in the courts, and the sooner, the better. Eric Holder ought to be being let out in handcuffs, not being allowed to testify further under oath and without any proximity to the truth before the U.S. Congress. The sooner this can come to a head, the better, and it looks like it's headed in that direction. We'll talk more about it in the weeks ahead. I'm Steve Gill. That's your Daily Notes for June 20th, 2012.